YouTube and welcome to another video and welcome to my channel The Art of Perfumery. Today I'm gonna give you my take on this fragrance which I love, Polo Blue Sport, which is a flunker of the best seller and very well known fragrance and I would even say iconic classic from the house of Ralph Lauren, of course that I'm talking about Polo Blue. So Polo Blue everybody knows this is a best seller for a reason and still on the market for a reason and the reason is because this fragrance is fresh, it's pleasant, it's ozonic, uh, it's aquatic, it's cozy to wear, very easy to wear, isn't inoffensive. This is a perfect spring and summer uh, dumb rich fragrance, absolutely signature worthy fragrance. But what about the sport versions? Not a lot of people that talk about this fragrance. What changed in this fragrance compared to this classic of 2003? That's what we're going to see in this video. So first of all, I'm going to show you the bottles. Take a look at the bottle, I actually love the bottle, I love the iconic bottles. The bottles are exactly the same, the same shape. What changed is the color of the bottles and the color of the cap. As you can see, the sports version has a golden cap, which is really nice. I absolutely love them bottles. Okay, let's go to the notes and uh, I'm gonna apply the fragrance and then I'm gonna dive right into the review. Okay, at the top we have mint, green apple, mandarin orange and cedar. In the middle we have green notes, sage and also ginger. And at the base we have fir, musk, sandalwood, patchouli, amber and oak moss. These are the notes of this fragrance. Now I'm gonna apply the fragrance. Take a look uh, at the distribution, which is not very good, I can tell. Okay, the distribution is a bit poor, doesn't release enough juice in my opinion. I like the mist, but I don't like the amount of juice that this sprayer releases. Okay, I'm gonna feel the fragrance and then I'm gonna jump right into the review. Okay, the fragrance opens very nice, very pleasant, surprisingly pleasant. And I also get a lot of the original Polo Blue DNA in this opening as well, because they both open very fresh, very aquatic, ozonic, invigorating as well. But I'd say the main difference between the two openings is that the sport version opens, I'd say, more fruity and also sweeter as well all because of the addition of the green apple. The green apple was added to this composition and this green apple is gonna make this fragrance uh, sweeter and also a uh, fruitier as well. And there's a lot of green apple in this composition and this green apple is gonna jump out of my skin and it's going to blend with some green notes as well. And the combination of this green note uh, with the green apple and also the mint is going to bring this area of zonic uh, and aquatic vibe uh, with some fruitiness that comes from this green apple. Uh, I'd say Polo Blue opens uh, a bit more aquatic, a bit less sweet, uh, with a very mouth-watering melon and also cucumber as well. Them two notes bring a very wet and aquatic vibe to that composition. While this composition is not as aquatic as uh, the original version, but this is more fruity and also more green and also more herbaceous as well. Uh, a few seconds after the spray, uh, the green apple is gonna find its way out to the surface. This fragrance is gonna get very fruity. Uh, and like I said, it's going to blend with those uh, green notes. And it's going to bring almost like a fresh uh, cut grass smell uh, to the composition, which is very nice, very easy to wear. Uh, it's going to uh, create uh, this fruity, green, fresh, aquatic vibe, which is very nice, very safe, and also very pleasant as well. I have to say that this fragrance of the dry down is going to get a bit uh, generic. Uh, we've seen this uh, kind of smell many times before, uh, this kind of like fruity, fresh, green, sweet, ozonic vibe. This is this, this type of fragrance. Uh, but uh, this is uh, a very nice fragrance, all right. I have to say, this is a very nice fragrance, but it's going to be very generic in the dry down because this kind of smell is, is being overdone. And it's been overdone for a reason, because it's very pleasant, it actually sells a lot. But it's a nice fragrance. And a plus to this fragrance, this fragrance was actually released in 2012. And if you, you, you remember back then, there wasn't a lot of uh, fragrances with this kind of smell. There was a few, but nowadays, every house has a lot of fragrances with this kind of smell, because the market's absolutely saturated with this kind of smell. Uh, so in the dry down, I have this mix of apple and green notes. Uh, it's going to take the lead, it's going to be the main players in this composition. And the fragrance is going to smell 
fruity and green with this mix of green apple plus this uh, mix of uh, green notes which is gonna bring this like a fresh cut grass the smell to the composition and on this right down plus a bit of woods and also patchouli and also a bit of umber as well that's going to bring some sweetness to the composition which is very nice and the fragrance is gonna end its life a fruity green sweet and also musky as well because in the dry down uh, the musk and the bulk moss is going to bring this uh, musky vibe to the composition so if you ask me my overall thoughts about this fragrance this is a, a bit of a sweeter and fruitier version of the original Polo Blue. I actually prefer Polo Blue because I think this is a bit too generic to my taste, but nevertheless, it is a really nice fragrance. Uh, and like I said, this fragrance, it's been, this kind of smell is being overdone only from the house of Hugo Boss. Only from the house of Hugo Boss alone. You have like Boss Bottle Night, you have uh, Boss Bottle United, Boss Bottle Sport, uh, Boss Bottle Unlimited. So four fragrances that is going to remind this fragrance here. Only from the house of Hugo Boss we have four. From the house of Mont Blanc we have Mont Blanc Legend Spirits. The list is endless. So this is a very generic fragrance. But I have to say, it's easy to wear. It's very nice. It's easy to please. Uh, and it has some degree of sophistication as well, which is typical from the house of Ralph Lauren, which is very nice. So at the end of the day, it's your typical fruity, green, freshy, dumb rich. It's very pleasant, but it's not as spectacular. It's a good fragrance, but it's far from an amazing fragrance. Like I said, it's a typical fruity, green, sweet, and musky scent. Okay, this was my review. Now let's go for the ratings for Polo Blue Sport. And these are my ratings for Polo Blue Sport. As usual, we start with the presentation. I really enjoy the presentation. The presentation is really nice. I think the bottle is very cute. The white bottle with the golden sprayer and the golden cap. I think it's very cute. I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10 for the presentation. You can actually hold the bottle by the cap. It's very safe to do. Uh, eight out of 10. We go now for weather. What is the best weather to wear the scent? Definitely summer and spring. This is a summer spring scent. It's very light. There's nothing bold about this fragrance. It's fresh, it's green, it's invigorating. So definitely summer and spring. Uh, we go now for occasions. What is the best occasion to wear this scent? This is not a very sophisticated scent. The smell is actually very casual, so I wear in casual scenarios. I would go as high as a casual chic scenario because like I said, it has some degree of sophistication, but it's not very sophisticated if you know what I mean. Uh, it's very good for day wear, uh, for going out with friends, uh, everyday wear, work, date scent during the day, perfect for this kind of scenarios. Uh, we go now for performance. How does this scent perform? It actually projects for one hour and a half on my skin and the longevity is six hours, so not too bad for another toilet. Smell. How does this thing smell? This smell actually very good. It's a bit generic, but the smell is actually very good. Definitely uh, gonna bring some compliments to you. So I'm gonna give it a seven and a half out of 10, which is not too bad. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching this video and if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and if you enjoy this video, you subscribe, it will be absolutely golden. If you don't know me, I am Mark Lacerda and I'm definitely gonna see you in the next video.